rules about people like moshing? Like, definitely, you don't want people stage diving to make it a show, right? Well, no, there's no stage dive, but we want the kids to have a good time. They can have as big a pit as they want. We make sure they, if they do come over, they get to go, go back in, but they're not going to go on the stage. Okay, so you heard that. The pit's fine, just not on the stage. Thank you, Mike. And uh, right now, it's time for us to play the number four video on Countdown to the Ball, and we're going to be hanging out. We're in uh, Miami, Florida with Megadeth, and we're going to talk to Suicidal Tendencies. But right now, here is number four on Countdown to the Ball. Ricky Rackman here. We're backstage at the production office. You know, the places where they keep all the passes. And uh, anyways, I want to remind you that MTV's Headbangers Ball is presenting the Megadeth 92-93 tour. And Suicidal Tendencies is opening up for a... Uh, these are good ones for a lot of the shows. So uh, anyway, we're going to be talking to the guys in Megadeth in just a little bit. We're also going to be talking to the guys in Suicidal Tendencies, watching a little bit more of the sound check. But right now, I want to remind you that the number one video, oh yeah, number one video on Countdown to the Ball is on the way, so stick around. Goofing around with the drums here with Nick and Marty from Megadeth, and uh, this is the first night of the tour. The whole tour kicks off. What have you been doing? I mean, were you playing some shows? Europe, show? man. This is not the first night of the tour. First night of the European American tour, though. Right. We've been in America for about two days, and we're just so happy to be home. You just can't even believe it. We've been in Germany. We've been in Nuremberg, Germany, like three days ago, in the rain, sleet, and snow, just cringing. So. Well, just so you know, it's real hot in Miami. It's like 90 degrees right now, but right. everywhere else in America, like in California. California right now it's still cold and rainy and everything like that I've been I've been on the beach for like three days riding wave runners and just looking at women and having a good old time so you really haven't had that much downtime lately right this has been this the first first little vacation we've had three days off and uh, gotta love it man so you're looking forward to playing all the stuff in America in front of the American crowds yes we want to see people mouth the words in English this time <laughs> instead of like making up words and you're going what are they instead saying about the shows they were saying Muga death Muga death <laughs> What are they saying out there? Mugadeth. Mugadeth. Well, we'll be back talking to the guys in Megadeth and hanging out here at the Bayfront Amphitheater in Miami Beach, Florida. Stick around. We're on the stage, uh, right kind of in the midst, interrupting Megadeth sound check with Nick and Marty. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, when I heard the album for the first time, I knew it was going to be platinum. I even said on MTV I thought it was a great record. And so, one of you two guys said, well, if our record ever goes platinum, I'll go skydiving, which was... Remember, I went last time with you. You went tandem. Yeah, well, I still, dude, I jumped out. That's Come true. On. You still did I jump out of an airplane. Jumping out. Okay, then who was the one that said if we went platinum that we, I would go, you would go skydiving? Yeah, I had no. You've idea. gone platinum. I've gone platinum. I've gone platinum many times over, in the world. I know it took about three and a half weeks. So basically, what you're telling the MTV viewers is you're just wimping out no, on no, what no, you no, said. No, 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 no. We have a date. We have a date. When's you're a date? Be there, right? Tell me when it is. I have a feeling it's December 14. I'll be there, Paris Valley. California. Valley, California. Y'all are invited. <laughs> you can watch us jump out of airplanes yeah. again. Anyway, so what kind of stuff, you know, what do you do to keep sane in between these shows? I mean, I know there's a lot of traveling and stuff like that. Do you do any reading or video games? I do a lot of sleeping and uh, curricular activities in my room. We, we have uh, Dave Sensei out on the road with us, training us all right now. and uh, Getting into shave, that's why you're well, kind of showing off the I, no shirt look. I'm trying to uh, stay warm. I'm sweating like yeah. a pig here. It's now we're all black. Warm. Um, you know, we, we do a workout. I'm not really doing the karate. I'm doing a little bit of kickboxing, and we all do a little uh, workout in the day, keep in shape, do a little stretching, that type of deal. And uh, just a spiritual uplifting for us all, you know, that type of deal. Okay, well, we'll let you guys get back to sound check, and we'll hook up with you a little bit later as we are hanging out in the show. But right now, it's time to play a video from you guys. Here is Megadeth with Peace Cells. 
We're here on the stage, Megadeth stage, and you just saw the video, and we're here with David Ellison, and uh, you were just saying how it's so good to be back in America. God, it's great to be back, man. I mean, it, we just spent uh, like about seven weeks in Europe, and the first week of it was cool. We were in like Italy, Spain, the south of France, and, and it was like weather like this. It was really nice out, you know? But uh, man, after two two months over there, no place like the U.S., man. Yeah. No place. Starting the tour in Miami now. How many dates are on this tour? Uh, you know what? I just opened up the cover of your, uh, USA Today, and they had the tour dates on there. I don't even have an itinerary yet, so I was like, that, that's tour where I get my USA itinerary. Today. That's I was hoping they have cool. hotel information on there, too, so I know where to go, but they didn't. That's uh, kinda, that, that kind of says something, you know? When they have Megadeth tour dates in USA Today. Blew my mind over oatmeal, and I'm sitting here, and I go, wow, man, Megadeth tour dates, right on. Cool. Any certain cities that you're really looking forward to? I know New Year's Eve, you're playing at the Long Beach Arena. That's going to be a good city. Um, St. Paul, Minneapolis, like my family's there, some old buddies, you know, so that's going to be cool. And um, New York is always just a nightmare, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'm actually just digging this right now, you know, sporting the shorts. Do you get kind of nervous when it's the very first show of a tour? Like, are there little bugs to work out, or do they kind of work all that out when you guys were in Europe? See, yeah, most of that was worked out in Europe. I mean, the lights and the sound system are exactly the same as what we had in Europe, only it's a different system, you know what I mean? It's like different equipment. So basically, it's, been, it's just been kind of a tech day, you know, they've been working things out. I mean, for us, it's pretty much just another gig, you know, as far as, like, it's not like we're starting the tour and we have to get back into right. this whole routine. But that's cool. I mean, I like once we get out on the road and it's like we're dang, doing four or five shows a night, you know, and I mean, a, a week, rather, and, uh, and you know, we kind of get into a groove, and it's a lot easier to do that. So it should, should be pretty comfortable tonight. Very cool, and we'll be hanging out with them. And remember, MTV's Headbangers Ball is presenting the tour. And another thing that you might have heard, changing the subject a little bit, you know that Ozzy is getting ready to do his farewell show November 14th and 15th and you might have heard that Black Sabbath is the opening band well this is just rumors I don't know if you heard this or yeah, not what is this rumor Dio oh. supposedly doesn't really want to play with Black Sabbath for that show so the rumor has it that Rob Halford is going to be sitting in as the singer of Black Sabbath which in my opinion would be very 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 and even if that very is a rumor cool. you just started a hell of a rumor if it man. didn't it's even a worse <laughs> rumor now so I'll have even more people mad at me but right now let's play a Judas Priest video anyway. Here's another thing coming from Judas Priest. Here with Dave Mustaine and Megadeth. We're on stage. They're, uh, we're actually getting in the way of their sound check. First day to the tour. Now, first of all, I want to congratulate you on the success of the new record. Oh, go, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead what? You got I came here saying, once I get through the Megadeth show and hear anything that Dave wants to say about my haircut, then it's all downhill from here. So go ahead. I like your hair, Ricky. See, I'm, I'm ready with all these comebacks, and then he hits you with one of those, catches me totally off guard. Anyways, back onto the record. Congratulations. I told you when it first came out, I know you already knew it, but uh, I knew that it was going to do really well, and obviously it is doing real well. And uh, you're back in America now, where the record is sold in excess of a million records. I mean, how many has it sold so far? In excess of a million records. Which is your first platinum record. As far as I know, yeah. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. And uh, do things seem a little bit different? I mean, they show tour dates in USA Today now. I know. <laughs> Which is a trip. I heard about that. That's pretty. That's pretty bizarre. So do you think that the America that you're going to see different American fans? I mean, obviously they're probably going to turn out in greater numbers yeah, now. Yeah, there's going to be a whole horde of paper boys here tonight. That are that are oh, because of the USA Today show. The Light USA Today bulb. thing. Ah, right. It takes me a while to get it, but I'll, but I'll pick up on it. So are there any things that you're going to be doing? Um, any any cities that you're really looking forward to playing out here on the American tour? Talk yeah. over the jet. Los Angeles, which is New Year's Eve. Yes. Headlining Long Beach Arena. Right. It's got to be good. Did you ever headline? I know I saw you play there, opening up for Alice Cooper once a long time ago. We've played there with Cooper. You know, a couple other people. And uh, this is definitely our first time, you know, parading around the country. Headlining, headlining. bigger venues. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've headlined, it, we've headlined it before, but it was never anything of this magnitude, you know, doing a proper tour with proper touring personnel. and. Like in New York City, you're playing three nights at the Ritz, which is kind of cool. Rather than opting for a much bigger venue, you're playing three nights at a medium place. So you got to think about the cultural status of playing in, in New York. It's not like one of those places where you want to you want to play a really big thing because it's not that intimate, and the audience in New York are pretty uh, pretty 
different, pretty obscure. They like to see their bands up close, and when it comes into where a band that they consider their own is playing, you know, the the felt form or whatever, you know, it's kind of like, you know, okay, well, we don't like them anymore. So we figured rather than, you know, be big in our own minds, we, you know, do a few few nights in a different place, which is cool, you know, because I, you know, I, I don't really dig playing to like people's expectations. Yeah, I kind of when it's intimate and the kids go nuts, kind of right in your I face. I like doing my own thing, you know. I mean, some nights we play in front of, you know, a few thousand. Sometimes we play in front of a hundred thousand, and it's never a dull moment because when you play in, in venues where there's not a lot of people, you have a much more intimate rapport with the people, you know, up front. I can't really concentrate on looking out into the audience too much, anyways. I mean, unless I stop playing, because it's really hard to, you know, play my guitar and sing at the same time. I mean, not that it's impossible, but it does make me kind of feel like an android sometimes. We're going to be back talking to Dave and hanging out throughout the show, and uh, right now we're going to commercials and come back with Megadeth from Miami Beach, Florida. packing them in like they used to. Actually, we're kidding. It's sound check, and you can be at these shows. They are going to be amazing shows. As a matter of fact, MTV's Headbangers Ball is presenting the 1992 to whenever Megadeth tour with special guests Suicidal Tendencies. You want to know when this show's coming to your town? Check this out. Sound checking. You know, this is tonight's show is just the first in a series of shows that you just saw. You gotta check them out. It's gonna be an amazing show. A little bit later in the Headbangers Ball, we're gonna show you some live footage of Megadeth. But right now, let's play a Megadeth video. Here's Symphony of Destruction. It's a way of life. A dark black past is my most valued possession. 
hindsight is always 2020. Looking back, it's still a bit fuzzy. Speak of mutually assured destruction. Nice story. Talk of your statues. You saw a little bit of Megadeth live, and now it's time for us to play a video for a band that you know that I dig a lot. They start off as a thrash band, and they will always be a thrash band. Six albums so far, I think, and still no ballads. And they're going to be on the Headbangers Ball in a couple weeks, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Here is Exodus, and go out and buy their new album, It Smokes. This is called Good Day to Die. They're playing. You're going to be able to see them live. They're going to see you down. But right now, just to get you all hyped up for it, let's show you a little bit of Megadeth live. My hour is huh. No, you are not there. No, I reached out for you. You wouldn't lend a hand. Do the darkest hour. Your brain cannot shine on me. Feel so cold. The cold don't care for me. And the show is the first show of the tour is done, and uh, feel pretty good. I feel great. I feel great knowing that everybody understood all of our mistakes in English. <laughs> <laughs> now, did it seem like there were like a couple mistakes? I mean, watching the show, it, it was a great show from our point of view. Flawless. But you guys are no probably mistakes. more critical. What? Flawless. It was. This was one of those nights that everything <laughs> was perfect. It was just like when you have those moments when just everything clicks. And tonight was it right? Like the clicking of my sticks together and when I did a Tom Phil it was like no it was a good show it was a really good show because you know what I felt this energy from the audience that just was different from Europe you know because we knew that everybody here had been listening to our album for like a couple months before they got to see us so it was kind of cool to know that everybody was familiar with the songs you know everything was still new when we went over to Europe the last couple months here's a question I want to ask before you interrupt and probably give me some sort of insult about my hair um, is <laughs> 
Dave seem a little bit different now that he's the, like the family guy? We saw his kid, great looking well, kid out in the audience. Thing. Yeah, that is the new question. Is, it, I don't, is that what, the question that everybody asks? What, what do you think? I, I mean, I think he seems a little bit more serious, but he still just gives me such as much a hard time as he always did. Oh, so. There you go. I mean, you know, he's. I think that Dave has become a lot more accepting of, of people in certain ways, you know, which I think is really good. I don't know. It, it's <laughs> except, except for me. Yeah, he, well, it's, that's because you're Ricky Rackman, Thank you know you. what you say. Okay. No, he's, you know, every, everything is, is actually really, really cool in the camp right now. Everybody's just glad to be out on the road right now, you know. Once again, I do want to say congratulations on the success of the album. Thank you remember you. when we Thank were in the you. studio when you were doing it, I heard the stuff, and I always did believe yeah, in this new album. Bullets Sweating song. Bullets is still my favorite song on the album, and they do it really good live. May even become a video. Well, there you go. And uh, you also remember that these guys will be going skydiving. Well, you December fourteenth, Paris Valley, California. You know we're gonna have a bunch of kids there yeah, this to see Megadeth. Yeah, this is gonna be a media event, and and it's not gonna. Be go ahead, Paris Valley, California. We'll be there. We'll be skydiving. Go ahead. We don't care. Platinum plunge for Marty Friedman is really what it <laughs> I'll is. I'll tell you what it is. It's gonna be a big media event. Except the only people who aren't gonna cover it are the Channel Nine News. There you go. Okay, we'll uh, be back this time for the last video of the night. Thanks a lot, and again, good luck on the tour, and yeah, congratulations I, on the record. I, I like your hair. It looks cool. Does it work for you? It Elvis. looks cool. Elvis. What are you doing? after the show. The <laughs> I don't know. What do we'll we be back for the last video. Yeah. For tonight's show, I want to remind you that MTV's Headbangers Ball does present the Megadeth Suicidal Tour. And if you hang out, look. Detroit Pistons hat. You get really cool stuff when you hang out at the tours afterwards. Look. A big stinky shoe. That's the kind of fun stuff that happens after the shows. But it is a great show and you definitely got to check it out. I want to thank all the people that made the show what it was and thank the people from the record companies that were involved from Epic and Capital. Also want to thank Megadeth and Suicidal Tendencies. We had a great time. The people in Miami were cool and uh, it was fun. Now you might remember last week we were in New Orleans with Ozzy for Halloween which was probably one of the best times I've honestly had on Headbangers Ball. But we had such a great time in New Orleans that we're going back and we're going to talk to Allison Shane. So Headbangers Ball is going to be on the road again in another town that doesn't sleep. So I'm going to look older and older every single week. And then we'll be back in the studio when I will be answering your mail. It's been taking a while and I know that uh, you've got a lot to say. So thanks a lot for watching the Headbangers Ball tonight. And once again, I want to remind you that MTV's Headbangers Ball is presenting the Megadeth Tour. you got to check it out. It's a killer show. And make sure you get there early enough to see Suicidal Tendencies. You know how much I've talked about Suicidal Tendencies. They're an awesome band live. Both bands actually are really what a uh, a live rock and roll show is all about and you might see me i'm going to try to go to as many of the shows as i can thanks again for watching we'll be in new orleans next week and i hope you'll be there with us remember to keep one foot in the gutter one fist in the gold and don't drink or drive Bye. Good night.